Hello people, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is Sorin and today we're going to take a look at the War Gods rewards in World of Tanks. So this is the first campaign for 2023 and War Gaming made a bit uh, a difference and that is the now you have to craft yourself the permit to vehicle action if you haven't made in the top 10,000 players by fame points. So therefore you're going to need this permit that is not the most expensive to craft but still you need to craft it to get to be able to auction for the brand new tanks and yes there is a brand new tank as well. In terms of the workshop the production line offers us the old IS-5 that was a Clan Wars reward tank back then, the WZ-111 which is a tier, uh, tier 8, pre actually both are tier 8 premiums, uh, this one is preferential matchmaking, this one is no preferential matchmaking and I believe this is like what is gonna catch people's eyes, it is the increased share resistance that I believe you had to participate and be to complete all stages in the ranked to get yourself this module. Now it is a bit uh, expensive if I have if you're gonna play for all uh, five hours uh, for every 14 days since the campaign started there are there's like uh, more than more than enough to um, to complete this and get yourself this uh, increased shell resistance which is a good module for heavy tanks especially if uh, you have a chieftain and doesn't have the most hit points you can put this on it and make it uh, last longer in battles for example in terms of the tank the wz111 uh, both tanks you can buy them into the bond shop if you don't want to craft them and uh, in terms of how you are how you can craft the vehicle well you have to craft yourself the suspension component so for example this take uh, nine ferrous, ma ferrous metal uh, seven spare parts and 14 scrap um, what is gonna happen you're gonna make the battle the battle will appear here and you receive resources and those resources can be any of uh, of here ferrous metal non ferrous metal spare parts and scrap those are gonna be like the most uh, what you're gonna get out of battles you're not gonna get any of those those you're gonna have to craft and um, you can break down the spare parts and the, actually all these the spare parts, the non-ferrous and ferrous material into the scrap. If you need, for example, um, let's say you have 100 non-ferrous metal and uh, you need to craft yourself the suspension, for example, you can break that, um, the non-ferrous metal into scrap and therefore you can craft yourself the ferrous metal if that is going to be the case. This is going to be a brief example of how you can uh, use this. Um, it's the same as we had last year so nothing changed over here. Um, there are the tanks, let's show them into the bond store as well. So the is 5 bit more expensive, it's 10,000 bonds. Uh, overall the tank it's okay, I mean it's a Russian tank overall. It's um, actually it's like much better armor than the S3, but um, still I believe there are there has been like so many Russian tanks in the game and in auctions and everything that this one is not. Uh, we are not missing anything out. And on top of that, it's ten thousand bonds if you really if you really want it. Uh, so the gun it's mediocre. The, the armor it's mediocre. The mobility it's okay and uh, you don't have the most free range and the second one is the alpine tiger uh, actually the wz111 alpine tiger this one has a beautiful skin which i actually like it over the um, 111 and uh, those tanks are completely clones so um, yeah this one is preferential matchmaking you have uh okay gun but i believe you have to spam hit the um, turret is okay but has balance on it um the hull it's 120 i believe and it's peak nose a weak lower plate and it's uh, balanced and you have 1550 the same as the is five but you're never gonna never gonna meet tier 10s which is okay i believe the worst match picking it's uh, six and nine or seven and eight that is seven tier eight it's, uh, no seven tier nines and eight tier eights Going back to the event itself, uh, here you're gonna find the options for the um, improved um, things. And looks like my uh, my game decided to give up on me. Okay, not a problem. Going back, 
the vehicle modernization this is where you can you're gonna get uh, by the looks of it 18 modules three of each and those are those are really precious in terms of reward there is nothing here we're gonna change the tab uh, those are like really important for um, the battle if you have one for example you are playing in a weaker clan and you fight the fame maybe you're gonna use this kind of equipment to get yourself a bonus because those are big bonuses for uh, everything i'm not gonna go in detail this is only the rewards talking about the rewards for bonds um you have to be top 10 top 10,000 to not uh, have to craft the thing that i mentioned early and this time we have a brand new tier 10 which i'm gonna review it uh, we have the old Caro de Combatimento, there is no Chieftain, there are two years in a row where there is no Chieftain. Uh, obviously there is the um, M60, the 907, the 121B, the T95 which is, uh, I haven't seen one in the battlefield, and the VK. And once again this one, this one is okay, I mean, I wish they had a VK. But uh, obviously there are two new tanks and I believe everyone's gonna go for those ones. They cost uh, 4,000 plus the fame points. You have to be, you have to get as many fame points uh, to bid for those. And if not, if you haven't made it to the top 10,000, don't worry, you can still bid for it. You have to bid, uh, what was it, 70, 80,000 bonds, something like that. I believe this is how many, how much people bid for the chieftain. But for those ones, it's not gonna be such a big price. So I expect 50,000 bonds for um, winning the auction yeah it's still a lot but what can you do uh, in terms of the personal bonuses um, those are really nice because they got reworked the prices are much cheaper and the fame points are once again they've been reworked you get way less uh, fame points as far as i understand um, therefore this used to be like 14,000 fame points or something like that. I have made videos of the previous. I should actually check them out before I made this video. But um, what can I say? You have training booklets for 60 fame points, which by the looks of it, you can get yourself uh, one of each. You have three uh, female crew members, which I think are mandatory to get if you um, uh, if you don't have any crew left i mean there is uh, gonna be a new tech tree in the game for the japanese uh, heavies actually um, heavy tank destroyers so therefore this might be a good pick for you therefore 300 fame points for three um, crew members it's okay uh, therefore do we have some 2d skins for the mouse looks like actually is it uh, for the mouse actually i don't think it's for the mouse it's for all but they put the mouse over here to look better i'm not sure if that is the case but um looks decent looks good enough for me and man i really wish i could participate into the clan wars look at this you get for 35 fame points which is i believe about three or four battles uh if you're stuck on the um, on the basic lines and what i mean stock uh, usually you have boosters you invest your earned fame points to get yourself a bonus and it's like um, you invest for example 30 fame points to get 10 percent into the next battles that you're gonna do so um, let's say you invest um, like first week into the boosters and after that um, the last let's say five days you invest to get yourself into the auction you're gonna have like 300 percent 400 percent more fame points so this is how people get a million of fame, well not millions but thousands and thousands um but once again in terms of the premium day seven premium days once again the prices are the same it's 35 for for every usually it used to be like something like 30 100 200 500 000, and so on and so forth and uh, usually you could get like three four days otherwise it's gonna be really expensive uh, you pretty much had to pick like one of each to be um, the most fame efficient and uh, i believe after you how to say um once the event is over you can uh, invest there it says like you have to it says plus fame points but uh, once the event is over they're starting the auction uh, i believe you finish the auction and after that this uh, oh, this opens up and um, yeah you don't really have to waste your fame points on the tank because this opens up 
after the tank is in your garage, for example. Um, that was how it was last year, so I believe they didn't change it at all. Uh, in terms of credits, once again, 3 million credits, or um, yeah, looks like 3 million credits for 300 fame points. That's actually a good deal, in my opinion. Uh, 3000 bonds for 900 fame points, that's actually getting a bit expensive, but uh, it's 3000 bonds, that's actually really, really nice as well. And one fame point for every hour of 50% combat experience, it's like uh, pretty okay. <laughs> it's like one fame point, it's like 10 fame points for 10 hours, and uh, once again, 10, for 10 points for um, another 10 hours. But what I expect is to buy them in scale. You buy the skins, then uh, you buy something that is cheaper, then something once again is more cheaper, and you leave this to last because it's like one each. And if you have like six or seven uh, fame points left, you can put you can buy them so you can be um, like on zero by the, the, by the um, event is over. Here are your um, tab for the next battles. So um, yeah, this one was um, this. This was the video. Uh, really interesting that they, they re like they uh, changed the mechanic and they changed the um, pretty much like the fame points reward. It's really really nice. Those things are not as expensive as they used to be, and now it's really rewarding to play um, to play the uh, clan wars, the campaign. So without further ado. Alright, in the video, thank you very much for watching. I will see you legends in the next one. Bye bye.